welcome back to my channel so I have another fall recipe for you this is going to be an apple recipe I am going to show you guys how I make no sugar added apple butter now if you guys have been following me for a while you know that last fall I made applesauce in the crock pot quite a bit this is the same concept only you cook it just a little bit longer to make it into apple butter ingredients are so super simple so you're going to need some apples in this case I'm using about three and a half pounds of apples um, as far as what kind of apples to choose that is entirely up to you I had these ones on hand I needed to use up and these are the organic gala apples that I get over at Costco so um, I like I said I like um, it's kind of apples on the sweeter side so it just depends on what you want to use so that's what I have here so it's nine apples so it's about three and a half pounds again it's just up to you however much you want to make um, I'm going to use a cinnamon and a pumpkin pie spice in this recipe. I love to use pumpkin pie spice in anything during the fall, um, but I do like to have a, just a slight more cinnamon in mine. So I'm going to be using both of those. As far as the quantities, it's really, again, up to you how much you want to use. I'm going to start out with using a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of the pumpkin pie spice. If I need more after I am all done, then I'll just add more um, to taste. So simply to start out, all you're gonna do is you're going to core these apples. I like to leave the peels on because the peels have so many health benefits in them. And you're gonna be using an immersion blender or a regular blender to blend this up anyway. So the peels will be, you won't even taste the peels at all, unless you leave it in applesauce form, which again, I don't mind. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, these have already been scrubbed and, or washed and scrubbed, whatever, and ready to go. So you're going to want to do that since you're leaving the peels on. You want to make sure you wash your apples really well before you put them in your crock pot. So let's get started. If you have an apple core at this point, an apple core, this is the way to go with this type of recipe, especially since you're doing so many apples. I will link the one I have down below in the description box. I got it on Amazon, so I will link that for you. Okay, so there's all the apples in the crock pot and um, this filled mine up about oh it looks like about halfway I'm not sure what size my crock pot is um, it's a pretty standard size pretty good size so I imagine you could probably fit five pounds I could probably fit five pounds in mine um, I am gonna also add about a quarter cup of water to this just to ensure that it doesn't stick on the bottom so I'm gonna do that add in my spices and then I will show you the next step okay, so I put my spices in there added in just that little bit of water and now I'm stirring it all up now you're going to set your crock pot to high and cook it for four hours on high. If you need to be out of the house a little bit longer than that, um, going to work or something like that, then you can do it on low and you want to do it on low for about eight to 10 hours, just depending on how many apples you have. With the amount that I have, because this is not really a full, full batch, like I said, a lot of recipes call for a full five pound bag or even more. So, um, but for my, for this amount of apples that I've done before, it's taken about four hours. So you do, well, this is the first step. Um, it is four hours to get to the first step. So go ahead and do that and I'll show you what it looks like after four hours on high. Okay, so now here are the apples after simmering for four hours in your crock pot. At this point, you could just um, leave this, um, kind of mush up the apples a little bit and use it as applesauce just with the peels. Or if you wanna make it into apple butter, like I'm going to, what you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna take an immersion blender or you can use a regular blender. Um, I do caution you if you use a regular blender, um, the, you're gonna want to let the mixture cool down a little bit, so take it out of your crock pot put it into a different bowl let it cool down slightly and when you put it into your blender make sure your little t vent is t off the top so usually most blenders have a little hole on them have that vent open that way the steam can escape and you don't have any blowouts and also do it in batches if you need to depending on how many apples you used so if you're just going to use an immersion blender like myself then you just want to just blend it up until it is all the apples are pureed and the apple peels are completely gone and then this is what it looks like when that part is all done okay so now this is what it looks like when it is completely pureed so what you want to do from here is go ahead and put it your 
put your crock pot on high and put your mixture back in if you took it out to put in your blender. If not, leave it in your crock pot, turn your crock pot on high and kind of vent your crock pot lid a little bit. Just leave it open a little bit to let the steam come out and just let it cook for about an hour to an hour and a half on high. Just watch it to make sure that it doesn't burn and you're just gonna reduce this down until it's just a lot thicker mixture. And here it is all in jars. So my, my nine apples made, filled up a 16 ounce jar and a six ounce jar. So not bad. This turns out so, so good. I highly recommend this recipe and it is zero smart points because I did not use any sugar. It is just apples and the pumpkin pie spice. Please let me know if you guys try this recipe. I, I cannot recommend it enough. It is so good and you will not regret making it. Thank you so much for watching and look in the description box down below and you will see a PDF copy of this recipe so you can print it out and you can make it for yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.